to put one over on her handlers. And the news even actually commented saying that she was tired of her handlers. And this is a, a term used for someone who is in control of the mind control slick. Uh, if you see her smirk, you see that she is breaking free of something. Mm -hmm. And the story definitely got weirder last uh, Saturday mm -hmm. as Brittany was checked into uh, the uh, Promises Clinic. And we're going to find that, uh, you know, things that you think are perfectly no uh, normal or, 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 you know, innocuous. Like, yes, innocuous. Thank you. The, uh, you know, the kinder care or uh, mm -hmm. uh, the boys' town, things that we think are innocuous are actually very nefarious. And we find that these. Uh, particular places. I mean, to name your, your rehab center after the meeting with the devil, True, uh, sure. Lindsay Lohan, we'll get to her, but <sighs> Brittany, uh, I got lost. Brittany is, is showing her, her freedom of these, of these groups. Mm -hmm. uh, there was somewhere I was going and I got lost on Lindsay Lohan. Well, this is portrayed in other movies as well, the shaving of the dark locks. In, yes. Uh, some of the movies, V for Vendetta, and also uh, Demi Moore shaves her head in G.I. Jane as well. I think I thought we had footage of that as well. Yeah, that was uh, it was on the next uh, Britney clip. Uh, if you understand that we are being uh, indoctrinated into this trauma-based mind control, and so movies like G.I. Jane mm -hmm. are military mind control. That's exactly what mm -hmm. that's all about. She wants to join the Delta Force and of course the Delta is the symbol of the goddess again and we are go on and on. Uh, and that is open mind control. Everybody knows that they're going to go there and be mind controlled and, and turned into a trauma-based assassin. Well, most people don't recognize the nefarious nature of V for Vendetta. They think this is a wonderful film that tells you how to get clear and I made a comment last night that if you think this is going to get you clear, then uh, go join Scientology, uh, which, of course, L. Ron Hubbard. Clear, to get clear of the different levels that you go through in the Scientology church. Scientology, according to L. Ron Hubbard Jr., is, is a, a black ritual done over a long period of time. Instead of getting all your trauma at once, you get it in little increments. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, that started by L. Ron Hubbard, who was Frater H. in the OTO, and he combined with Jack Parsons and... Uh, tried to raise the moon child. Yes, interesting point there. Um, now, it's curious that uh, once she escaped on, on her path, uh, and then she goes into the Promises rehab, mm -hmm. uh, she then scrawls on her forehead 666 and starts running around screaming, I am the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Poor Brittany. It is said of the trauma-based mind controls that they tend to break their programming at 30. Brittany turns 26 this year, so it's no surprise to me that they're starting to act out. Mm -hmm. And I say they because there's a few in this group. Um, they, uh, so she uh, attempted suicide. She, she feels that she is the Antichrist. She's starting to recognize the programming that she did to little children. Uh, herself without her knowing. You know, these songs mm -hmm. were written for her. her. Her whole persona was crafted for her. She was then used to implant messages into our youth. And this is why we're seeing little girls running around singing, if you want to get with this, you got to pay for it. <laughs> you right. know, from Christine Aguilera. What a role model. Yes. And it's not these girls that are doing it. These are the poor mind control slaves that are being used by the masters. And as we look deeper and deeper, we'll find the masters continually go back to Freemasonry over and over and always back into the military intelligence, which you pretty much have to be a Freemason to be in the military intelligence. Uh, I would say that you do have to be, but there may be one example where you're not. You know. <laughs> okay. uh, same with being an astronaut. You, know, you cannot be an astronaut without being initiated. So when Brittany walked out and went and got her tattooed and said, you know, I'm tired of everybody touching me. I don't want them touching me. And she even said, I don't want them plugging things into me anymore. Right. No one was too sure what she said about that. Um, she uh, is actually giving you the clues necessary to realize what, what is going on. And as the universe is also serendipitously giving us the clues to put the pieces together. Because as I mentioned, Lindsay Lohan, she is also another Disney star. And she also has now joined forces with uh, Christina Aguilera, or uh, 
with Britney Spears and Paris Hilton, and they are now known as the Anti Panty Club. Mm -hmm, right. They are running around without their panties, showing off to the paparazzi. They're breaking free, folks. They're really trying to escape. Uh, Lindsay Lohan then checked into what is known as the Wonderland Clinic. Now, the, if uh, we're looking at child pornography rings, we're talking about the things that are influenced with or are involved with trauma-based mind control, the CIA and MK Ultra are uh, child pedophile rings, uh, porn and snuff films, but also drug running. Mm. And um, these are all based out of our military intelligence, the CIA. Uh, when one of this groups uh, was known as the Wonderland Club. And here's Lindsay checking into the Wonderland Clinic. This is either the universe trying to give us a big clue, or these guys are actually in charge. Wasn't and she trying to get some help as well, getting into some of these institutions, or getting into some of these treatment centers from a former presidential candidates? <laughs> yes. Well, she thought Al Gore might be able to help her uh, save the world. Um, she knew her influence on, on children and even people over her age, uh, even though she couldn't spell it. Uh, but yes, Al Gore uh, quickly went and said, uh, 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 I only saw her one night, okay, because this thing goes lie, it goes all the way to the top. This is who your leaders are. Uh, if you're thinking that you're fighting uh, toll roads, this is who your leaders are, and we need to move along so we can get to that part. Um, so this, this Wonderland Club uh, was a, a huge pedophile ring, internet, porn, snuff films, all of that, and uh, it, it went through 22 states and 13 countries. Uh, it went all the way to the top, but just like all of these other Mickey Mouse courtroom events, nobody ever found out the truth. Uh, the, the fall guys took the fall. Sure. Your life now. 